Okay, so the next thing is, is what's really common on these is, again, seems like John Deere has all kinds of common problems, right? Um, they are kind of minor, but it's just because they went, you know, cheapy over the years instead of metal. Everybody went to this plastic crap and whatnot. Anyway, these hoods always break. That's why you see a lot of John Deere's without hoods. They still run fine and whatever, but they just don't look as cool, right? So this one's still in pretty good shape. It's just these little tab. Well, there you go. Perfect example. These little tabs have broken off that I guess was how they used to. There must have been a screw or something that holds them on. Um, the front ones are still okay. So all I'm going to do for now is um, I'm just going to drill a hole where the missing tab is and put a bolt in it. And then there's also a missing one on this side as well. So I'm just going to drill two holes, put a hole, a bolt, and a washer, and call it good for now. I'll put a washer on the outside and then bolt on the a nut on the inside with the metal there and I'll put this big washer out here to kind of spread the uh, load across the plastic a little bit Tighten them up in a second, but let's just test it out. There we go. Hood is fixed. Motor's running. Gas line's pumping. Let's check out that pulley. So what I've got is this blade is completely locked up, and the one on the other side barely moves. So probably just enough tension that since nothing's uh, got any give in it, that's why it's catching up front. So. I'm just going to take it completely off for now until I get the thing, you know, going. It, and then I might just take the deck off one of those other ones if they fit. See right there, it's stuck. That's why it was smoking because it's getting... Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, you can... Well, you can't see yet, but see it's kind of burned right there. If you can see that. Um, but what's happening is when I was starting the motor, this was getting jammed in there and just, you know, wasn't moving at all, even though there was no tension on the blades. Yeah, let's say that was sitting in a field somewhere. But see this one? That's completely locked up. Okay, so I haven't tried it out yet, but thanks to the uh, wisdom of my son, you know, I was worried about the transmission. Well, it seems to roll pretty good. It helps if you take the parking brake off, he pointed out. <laughs> so here, I've been trying to manhandle this thing around and always forget that I have this parking brake on. And it's been locking up this wheel, so I thought that something was wrong with the transmission. But you take that out and pull the lever, and it works just fine. So, so thanks to my brother, I got this seat here. Um, it's just off of an old Murray or something, but it actually is going to fit just right in these slots. And I'm going to try to get the old, nasty, rusty ones off of here and just reuse these sliders uh, for the bolts. But we'll see how that goes. those vice grips would work but they're just falling off well i finally gave up with the uh, impact wrench and stuff so i just went out and cut them off with a grinder and those were all nasty anyway so i'll just reuse these two sliders and then i'll just put four bolts in it and you know it's it's not like anybody ever really adjusts their seat anyway they fix it like they like it and then leave it so uh that's what we're gonna do you know i may have to make a trip to tractor supply and stand in line all right so i'm in luck um we had to buy a new basketball goal one time and because the bottom was leaking and we just replaced the bottom kept the same pole and everything so we got all these bolts from from that kit and uh they should work just fine i just found these big old washers over there and i'll use them Tighten it so it don't move. Okay, 
just gotta tighten that up. And then the last thing is how do I steer it? <laughs> well, that's all that's left. Let's see if it'll start up though. Well, this is what I had a problem if I don't remember to turn that key off. Ah, there it is. my spring here my little lever I guess I can at least test to see if it'll go in reverse let's see my theory Alrighty, we got her going. Um, I did find a steering wheel on eBay for uh, $19.99 plus tax, free shipping. Uh, says it'll be here on May 6th, so that's the last thing I need. Um, I'll figure out all this switches, you know, I just, I just zip tie that down if I have to. Um, but I actually am going to go work on the deck. If I can get the deck going, uh, that'll be great. And then we can mow with it. I just kept with it, got the seat from my brother, rigged it up here where it works. Um, Got the motor running, fuel pump going, everything's good on here. It kind of jumped off on me there when I went forward because I, I didn't have anything to hold on to and it was a, it kind of took off. So um, forward reverse works great. Uh, it's ready to go. Um, just keep with it. You know, it took me a few hours out here today just to do this simple little stuff. You know, like any project, just keep at it and you know you'll get it eventually. If it's it's just fun to kind of see it come together and and, and work. You know, from not having a starter or carburetor or a fuel pump or anything on it and just pretty much stripped down to now running and just stick with it get outside do something thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video